I need to remember what UFAST is completely. Yep. Um, okay. Tell me what the so letters mean. What does UFAST so stand for? So UFAST. I mean, the idea. I learned this from Edward de Bono. You know, give things names, and mm -hmm. and then people have got something concrete rather than just say, oh, you need to learn things quickly. So if you're coming up with a process for learning things quickly, yeah. it makes sense to try and get something about speed or accelerated learning in there. Mm -hmm. So I was conscious of trying to get fast in there because that's okay. quite good. And you fast makes sense. So first of all, you say you're kind of working from the, uh, from the mnemonic, from the acronym first. And Interesting. Say, yeah, well, it's, it's almost like starting from the end and say, what do I want to be able to, I want to be able to produce something. I don't want to just do something and then find out, oh, I can sort of botch it together to come up with something that people can remember. Yeah. So I worked backwards and thought, are oh, you fast? Now, I knew it was a five-stage process. It had to be anyway. And the U stands for unpack. The F is like the fundamentals, the facts of the, of the thing. Then the A is for uh, analogies. Um, S is for strategies. And T is for, for the tests. And there's a bit more detail, but in essence, what you're trying to do is unpack a subject, focus on the facts, figure out the mm -hmm. facts. Then you're trying to find ways to talk about it. So it helps you really understand something, understand the concepts, if you can Assimilate, yeah, assimilate the am analogies into your sort of everyday understanding. Yep. And then you've got the, uh, the strategies that you need to be able to, to master the subject. Sure. And then finally, you know, you've got a test to, to see if there's any truth to what you've managed to do, which, uh, and that's the UFAS. It's nice and easy. Amazing. And it's easy to remember, right? Yeah.